we're going to explain you how to do this. First, you have to go to the Audacity website. You can search it in Bing. It will be the second one. Audacity. A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y. And next, you download it. Make sure you download the beta. The one for Windows 7 and Vista. Not the 1.2.6. That's not for 7. And you download it and you go through the whole process of running and whatever not. Yes. And then... After it's installed, it should look like this. Then you add whatever song you would like. You go to file. You have to download the song first. Yes, open. Download the song first. Open. Then look at the song. We just go rise and sing. Doesn't matter. And, and it will open it slowly, but it'll go quick. Then there's and your there's song right here. So now you it shows that it's. I didn't show anything yet. Right. And now you have to pick your cut time. You have to be less than 30 seconds. So you have to figure out where you want to start and where you want it to end. You don't have to start at the beginning. You can start at any point in the song. So you pick a part. Like so. so. Let's see. Yeah. This is, let's just listen to the beginning. That's pretty good. But keep in mind, the song has to be less than one megabyte and less than 40 seconds. So once you... We'll, we'll get to that after a while. All right, so you now you got you get to cut the song. So you pick your starting point and you drag it to your ending point. Got that? Now you go to edit. Next you go to copy, and then you go to file. Then you go to new. It should open up another one. Now from here you put edit, and you put paste. It should paste that only that little part of the song. And now, you have to choose your end length down here, so you want it less than 40 seconds. I recommend 30 or 29 seconds. So we'll go with 29 seconds, only for safety reasons. Next, you go to File, All right. and you put Export Selection. Not Hold on, before that, it's going to tell you you're going to need another, um, another software thing. Yeah, so you so go to Edit, and, edit. and you go to Alt. You go to edit all the way down to preferences, which is down here, all the way at the bottom. Next, you go to libraries, like so, and you put download. Yeah. It should take you to a website, like this. And you download. And you click this one. And then you run it, and you install it and everything. And it should locate it automatically. Next, you put... And you hit OK. Close you hit out. OK. Then you go to file, export selection, right here. And then you put it to wherever you want, desktop. Yeah, desktop, whatever. And make sure it's WMA version 2. It has to be WMA or it won't work. It has to. And you, f you name it something. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. You save it. Save it. You click, o you click all your stuff. So you put the name. Yeah, yeah, name, song, whatever you want to call it. Make sure genre is ringtone. has to be ringtone. Oops. Then you hit, let's just name it. Random crap. Put an artist name random. Who? What's his name? Hit OK. Okay. Now you wait for it to save. Now you go back to your Zune. It's not in Zune yet. Well, it's on the desktop right now. So you'll see it. He'll show you. It's right here, as you can see. Right there. Right there. Then you you should have Zune open anyway. You, like connect your phone and Zune pop up, whatever. And you take this like usual. And you drag it to zoom. But my things are in here, so. Sorry yeah. about that. It should be in the music collection part. So let's close this up back out. Again, you drag it to the bottom icon so it pops up. You drag yeah. it into there. And it should pop up, and then. If you don't want to search through all the songs, just close Just songs go here. And search wherever. What do we name it? I don't know. HGH, something like that. Yeah, some random crap. It was W. I'm not with W. It was? Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about this. We forgot. We should have named it something simple. Instead, we named it some random mask. Like the, yeah, there, there, there it is, right there. You can see it. So and you drag you, that all the way down to your see, sync phone. Your phone should be plugged in, so that should be lit up. Let's see. It's 23 seconds. And then if you right-click it and go to properties, it should say how how many megabytes, which is 979, which is good under one megabyte, and the length 
don't know if it shows you. Yeah, 29, 29 seconds. 29 seconds. That's good. And then you less could, than a, get, a megabyte. So you could do that. You could down, put this into your phone. I wish I had my phone to show. Yeah? Hold on one second. Go. You sync it to your phone. Go, go, and, then you and then this is the part where it'll be on the phone. You go to, you sync it with your phone and then go to settings, ringtones, and sounds, which you should already know. And then all the way at the top, it should say the name of your song. The top ringtone should say the name of your song. And you just click that and it'll change to your ringtone. So that's basically it. It's harder to find the darn software than it is than it was to put the songs in. So any any last words? Thank you for watching my tutorial. Millions of hits. Okay, hold on.